You have to give BMW kudos for being daring enough to experiment with new body formats. Models like the 3 and 5 series GT and more recently the 2 series Active Tourer. It shows their willingness to break the mold even though they know they're going to upset a few loyalists and divide opinion in the process. But when they stick to what they know, the result is always superb and received warmly by all. They are skilled in the art of the coupe. Think back to models like the iconic 2002 or the striking wedge-shaped 8 series from the 1990s. BMW's naming strategy recently changed with even numbers being reserved for the sleeker two-door variants. Nameplates like the 3 Series Coupe are no longer into the all-new 4 Series. And the aim here is to offer greater differentiation between these more glamorous models and their humbler balloon sibling. But have they done enough to warrant a new moniker? Well, the 4 Series is longer, wider and lower than the model it replaces. And compared to the 3 Series, it is 500mm lower to the ground and has bragging rights as one of the cars with the lowest centre of gravity in the BMW lineup. You know, BMW loves to go on about the sporty and focused nature of its offerings. This is certainly still composed and crisp in the Benz, although it relays an air of Grand Tourer-esque suppleness. It kisses the ground, but its suspension is still wonderfully compliant, making it great over Johannesburg's various road surfaces. There are three derivatives available in the lineup, the four-cylinder 420i and 428i, and the straight-six 435i, which we are in now. And if you've ever experienced this engine in any other BMW model, you'll know that it's a true gem. Just to remind you of the power outputs, it kicks out 225 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque. It offers four driving modes according to your mood. Eco Pro when you want to save juice, Comfort when you want a blend of frugality and performance, Sport when you're a little bit playful and Sport Plus which sharpens everything up and gives you full reins of all this BMW has to offer. But over our test period it's mostly been in comfort mode. We truly enjoy the soothing cruiser capabilities of this 4 series. On the outside, you'll spot cues like these air breathers, which don't only serve to look cool, but also help alleviate drag in the wheel arches. Overall, it looks determined, shark-like and formidable, which is exactly what a sporty Beamer Coupe is supposed to be. But we think they could have done a bit more to set the interior apart. It's exactly as you'd find on a normal 3 Series, except for these novel arms which extend outwards, helping you with your seatbelt like you'd get on an old Mercedes-Benz SEC. Of course, you can take your pick from a variety of styling packages and this one has the luxury line. It's got wooden inlays, this sandy brown beige leather upholstery choice as well, which matches my pants. That was not planned. But if you want something more youthful, you can opt for the modern or M Sport styling lines too. Pricing for the 420i starts at a reasonable 479,000 Rand. Things begin at 553,000 Rand for the 428i, but this 435i kicks off at a sizable 710,500 Rand. Remember, these are all standard line models. We would probably go for the middle range 428i and advise being strategic with that list of optional toys. The 4 Series is an alluring car and it has the upper hand over aging alternatives like the Audi A5 and Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe. It's a superb example of what happens when BMW sticks to what they know best. Thank you for joining us on another Sir 4 Cars review. Please get social with us on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter or click here to check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel over here. Until next time, drive safe. Yeah, they